Okay, I just finished this painting. It's a pronghorn antelope. Here's a little bit of the uh, progression, how I put that together. There's a previous video on that. And then I talk a little bit about my experience with this painting. Well, here it is, uh, February 19th, I think, and I finished my antelope. And I told you I would tell you a little bit about it. I had struggled quite a bit with this painting. I'm going to show it to you in color here in just a minute. It was challenging because, you know, you rarely see antelope up close. I see hundreds and hundreds of antelope around where I live here in Montana. But rarely do I see them up close, but I really wanted to paint an antelope because, uh, well, for one thing, they're the fastest animal in North America, and actually it's pronghorn. It's the proper name for them, and pronghorn only exists in uh, North America, the United States, so I think it's a pretty fascinating animal. The fact that we have them, so many of them around here in other parts of the world, they don't see them. They don't know them. So I think we're really fortunate. And also because antelope are really a very powerful uh, symbol. And if you see antelope or you think about antelope or you relate to antelope, it probably means that you're on a pretty good fast track to having a successful life because they are really powerful. And also as I said earlier in my other video, the thing that fascinated me about them and the thing that helped me to go forward with this painting is the fact that antelope's eyes are eight times more powerful than human eyes. So think of that. They can see us from a great distance and they can probably see us very clearly. And along that same note, Antelope's eyes are bigger than an elephant. Think of that. An elephant is huge and an antelope's eyes are bigger. So that's why I struggled with my painting because I didn't know how to do the eyes. So then I focused on the eyes. And let me flip this around and show you what we got here. So here is my finished product. And I make my own panels. I use quarter inch birch, and then I make a frame to go on back so that, well, let me just show that to you. It's a little wet because I just finished that, but I make my own frames on the back to give them support so they won't warp. And I love painting on wood because then I can let, if you look closely, you can't see it too well, but if you look closely, there we go. You can actually see some of the wood showing through. And here's some close up. You can see I like to use a lot of color. And even underneath the blue of the background, I used a lot of color before I put the overlay in blue. I don't know, it just gives it some depth. And I like the rugged, look and the rough look. Now I will put a sealer on this when it comes. I had to order some more. So I'll have a sealer on that, but I just like the, the wood texture. There's other places you can definitely kind of see the wood. And in my, um, my, um, uh, frame little thing that I like to do on my paintings, I like that to be raw wood. So there's the eyes. <laughs> Once I learned a little bit more about them, I was able to go forward. So anyway, here's my interpretation of an antelope. Now I think they're really cool. So I'm glad I chose this as my painting. Now I got to figure out my next powerful animal to paint kind of into doing these and I'm I like the contemporary look I'm not a realism realistic painter I just love to paint and I love colors and I like to see what happens 
So what do you think? There we have it. Hey, thanks for supporting me and for watching my videos and giving me all kinds of moral support on Facebook.